This is golfing greats in their own words with 2011 PGA champion Keegan Bradley, who followed up major success by performing well for the United States in two different team competitions. He made his Ryder Cup debut in 2012 at Celtic Manor in Wales. Although the Americans ended up losing, Bradley won three matches in partnership with Phil Mickelson. And at the 2013 President's Cup in Dublin, Ohio, Bradley and Mickelson won their first two matches and halved the third on the way to the US's comfortable victory. In the next part of our conversation at the Kuala Lumpur Golf and Country Club, Bradley dreams big about more major success with so much of his career ahead of him. What would you say your remaining career ambitions are? Like what's realistic as far as you can see for your target of victories? Uh, you know, I want to win more majors. Um, I want to contend, more importantly, in, in more majors. Um, I want to get to a level where, you know, the top guys are, where they seem to tee it up and contend almost every time that they play. That, that's what I, I'd like to be. And what about the way things have unfolded since you began your career to now? How satisfied are you? How surprised are you with uh, how well you've done? Um, you know, I feel very proud of the first three years of my PJ Tour career, but I feel like I got a long, long way to go and a lot more accomplishments that I can acquire. And, um, you know, good golf and hard work will take care of those. Now, you've been asked many times about the belly putter and the ban in, in 2016. What's your take on that and how are you going to adjust? Um, I'm going to, I have no plans on switching anytime soon. Um, I still got another couple of years. Um, and I'm just going to work hard to, to, um, become a better putter than I am right now. How, how tired are you people asking you about and associating you with this part of, of the game of golf when it, there are so many other parts? Yeah, you know, I, it's really died down the last six months. When it first started, it was, it was tough. Um, but, you know, I just, I got to look at it and laugh and consider myself one of the reasons why they're banning this um, because of good putting. You know, it's hard to, it's hard to think that that's the reason, but, um, you know, the USGA has their opinions and we have ours and, um, you know, they're trying to do what's best, I guess. Because you were the first player to win a major with the unorthodox putter. So obviously, I guess you're expecting that maybe there would be some scrutiny. Yeah, you know, at the time when I won the PGA with the belly putter, I didn't even get one question about it in the post round interviews or anything. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't a topic of discussion even. So it's amazing how things can change in a year and a half. And one part of your game that uh, the guys at the PGA Tour office told me about is the way that you have that kind of expression when you're looking to, to make a putt. Mm -hmm. and you, tell us about that. Um, you know, it's just something that I do to, to visualize the read of the putt and uh, not something that I ever meant to do. It's just kind of evolved into that. It's, um, it's, it's different and weird, but it um, helps me putt, putt well. How much are you in the zone when you're out there? On the, on the greens. Yeah, you know, I'm always, I'm always trying to be as dialed in as I can, you know, and that's, that's a way for me to really focus in and, and, and read a, and hit a good putt. You know, in, say, 50 years' time, when people look back on the career of Keegan Bradley, what do you hope that they remember? What do you hope the legacy will be? Um, I hope that they, um, you know, look at me as a player that's a winner, that goes out there and takes care of a tournament when, when he can, a guy that never gives up and is going to fight to, to the very last hole to, to win a tournament and hopefully a, a multi-major champion. Because that fighting ability, that's something that really people associate with, uh, with Keegan Bradley. So how have you built that up? Is that from being under the radar for so long and, and people you know, really not paying much attention to you? Yeah, I think it is. Um, you know, I'm never going to give up, no matter if I'm, gonna, if I'm 10 back or I'm going to miss the cup by five shots or wherever I am, I'm never going to give up. And I'm going to fight my hardest to, to get it back um, and you know that's that's a quality in me that I'm proud of, and um, something that I'll I'll always do. Keegan Bradley, all the best uh, for the CIMB Classic, all the best for the FedEx Cup, and and the rest of your career in the year. Yeah, thank you very much. With the imminent ban on belly or long putters, the scrutiny over Bradley and the other men who've won majors with the unorthodox flat stick will go on. Bradley was the first in 2011, followed by fellow American Webb Simpson at the 2012 US Open, Ernie Els at the Open Championship of 2012, and Adam Scott at the 2013 Masters. At one point, the winners of four of the last six majors had used a long or belly putter. He's known as one of the best on the greens, but of course, there's a lot more to Bradley's game than just putting. 
In 2013, he was second on the PGA Tour in total driving stats and had the 10th best scoring average. And golf definitely runs through his veins. His aunt is Pat Bradley, the former LPGA player and World Golf Hall of Fame member. And his father, Mark, worked as the head professional at the Jackson Hole Golf and Tennis Club in Wyoming. Keegan Hanson Bradley, who came from nowhere to taste major success, an unlikely golfing great. That's all for our show today. I'm Jason Dacey. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you again very soon.